Bass, poor Yorick, for I knew him well. Oh, hi. <laughs> Just messing around with uh, Iggy the Iguana here. You know, he's my most loyal and long-standing pet. Role play, guys. A few of you have said to me recently that your teams don't like role play. Someone even said my team hate doing role play. And I'm thinking, why? Because it's an opportunity for us to have a load of fun. But some of you are saying it makes you feel self-conscious, uh, it makes you feel silly, a little bit childish. But I say, you know what? Great! In this serious adult world that we live in, why not have a bit of fun? Be a bit childish, be spontaneous. But moreover, role play is a form of rehearsal. It's a chance to make the cock-ups with your colleagues. It's a chance to put ourselves in the shoes of the person who's going to be hearing it for real come nine o'clock. It's all of that and more. Professional people are well rehearsed. Professional actors like Maggie Smith in a West End play, they rehearse and they rehearse and they rehearse. It's role play. Role play is repetition. Rehearsal is repetition. And repetition, guys, is the mother of perfection. And I promise you, absolutely, if you get involved in role play and shake off that self-consciousness, you'll have a load of fun. You'll look forward to going to work tomorrow. You won't want to get on the phone for real. You'll love it. And your commissions and your bonuses will go up. There's only one way they can go, and that is up, if you perfect the way you speak on the telephone. And the way to really perfect it is through role, role play, practice and repetition. I do it every single day. I'd warm up. Use it as a warm up, guys, before you get on the phone for real. Make your mistakes with your colleagues, not with your prospects. Could cost you a lot of commission. Please have a think about it. I'm Steve Q. Thanks for checking in and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.